Hi there. In this video, we're going to go over how to set up a standard subscription. A standard subscription is the most common subscription type. It allows your customers to subscribe to a product or products that will be sent to them at the chosen interval. OK, to start, navigate to your My Subscriptions page and select Create Subscription Group. In step one, give your subscription a name. This is just an internal name, so it's not anything that your customers will see. Then choose standard subscription as the subscription type. In step two, choose the product you want to offer for a subscription. You can choose as many different products as you would like, but if you want to choose only a specific variant, Uncheck the Group Variants by Products option and click Search. If you have a lot of products that you're offering on subscription, we suggest splitting them into smaller subscription groups, because when updating or syncing your subscription groups, it can take a long time if there are lots of products and variants. You can also choose whether you want to allow your customers to swap their products at a later date using this option below. In step 3, this is where you can select the available intervals or frequencies. The first option allows your customers to choose the interval from a selection that you offer. In this example, your customers would be given the choice of 1, 2 or 3 days, 1, 2 or 3 weeks, or 1, 2 or 3 months. Alternatively, you can choose to set a fixed order interval if you only want to offer, as an example, a one month frequency for your customers. When choosing a fixed frequency, you'll be given another selection. The first option means that each individual customer's recurring orders will be charged on the same date that they originally purchased it. If they purchase on the 11th, for example, they will be charged on the 11th every month. Alternatively, you can choose to charge all of your customers' recurring orders on the same date, the 15th for example. If you choose the week interval here, you can decide to charge your customer on a particular day of the week. Choosing multiple days will give the customer the option to choose between those days. Buffer days help you manage how close together your customers' first and second orders will be charged. We'll be going over this in a bit more detail in a later video. We'll also be going over the remaining subscription options in another video. Once you've set up your subscription group and after you save it, the products will need to sync. Once that's done, the subscription option will show up on the product page for that product. In this video, we went over how to create a basic standard subscription. We have other videos that go over convertible subscriptions, prepaid subscriptions, as well as buffer days and the other subscription options. If you have any questions or need any help, check out our help centre for many more articles and videos. And please feel free to reach out to our support team by visiting support.boldcommerce.com. Thanks for watching.